What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here with uh, my beautiful co host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going, guys? And uh, we're out here parting, parting it up. No, we don't. <laughs> we're going to be in bed here in about half an hour. So, <laughs> <laughs> no partying for us uh, on this Saturday night. But it is Saturday night, by the way. Um, December 3rd, 2022 is the date, uh, about 9 24 p.m. here. Along the West Coast in California, where it's been kind of drizzly and rainy all day, which is good. Latest earthquake here shows a 1.6 earthquake. And real quick, right off the bat, the USGS has added a really cool um, HD live stream of Mauna, Mauna Loa. And um, it's on YouTube. So I will provide the link uh, for it in the description below this video. Go check it out. Um, they did turn off commenting, but uh, it's pretty cool. So go check it out. Latest info on the activity around Mauna Loa. Still seeing some earthquake activity. Obviously, this will continue for quite some time. Also, pretty good uptick around Kilauea Volcano. Getting some deeper movement quakes there uh, at around two kilometers or so down there. So maybe a sign of some renewed uh input here of magma into the area this has been erupting here for over a year uh, that's kilauea volcano mono loa just recently erupting but definitely things still pretty uh active as they have been let's go ahead and check out the latest informational statement here from the hvo folks on mono loa their recent status report here looks like that was put out uh definitely uh today uh earlier this afternoon time period Still sitting at a warning and a red uh, color code. Uh, doesn't look like there's been any major changes. We got one active fissure. That's fissure number three, which is currently feeding a lava flow down slope, uh, generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards the Daniel K Highway. Uh, looks like it's still at a level of flatter ground, which will slow down the progress of the flow. Looks like it's about uh, 2.4 miles from the Daniel K Highway uh, currently and um, moving at about 40 feet per hour. And of course, um, this is you know an ongoing deal. Gonna watch this pretty closely and see how close it gets to the uh, that highway. Either way, um, you know, 40 feet per hour, not that fast, but it is moving a little bit. Uh, tremor, which is associated with subsurface fluid movement, continues in the location of the currently active fissures. Uh, this indicates that magma is still being supplied to the fissure, and activity is like to, likely to continue as long as we see this signal. So that's uh, <clears throat> it's going to continue, obviously. <laughs> For how long? Who knows, right? We'll definitely uh, see. It's been since 1984. Uh, as of 11.59... AM just before noon uh, Hawaii time there it looks like that is the uh, front lines there of the current uh, flow down slope there's highway uh, 200 up here so that is the direction of travel and uh, it looks like there's a little plateau here that it needs to uh, advance over before making its way down uh, further down towards the highway there here's all it's actually traveled pretty far already um, <clears throat> Fissure number three up here, where the lava is uh, advancing from. Pretty cool. So uh, that's the current conditions there on Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa. Uh, don't need the grammar police out here tonight. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here for earthquake activity. Looking at the big picture, uh, what do we got? Some activity out here in the northern Atlantic Ocean coming in just earlier this evening time period 5.2 near the uh, rick james ridge area north of the charlie gibbs fracture zone uh, and that's about it though for the atlantic ocean some activity down throughout the puerto rico area and also into ecuador or columbia excuse me earlier this morning uh, 5.0 uh, the activity there in south america has kind of died off uh, according to the usgs and a look here at the emsc model as well uh, still shows some smaller quakes up here, some twos and threes into the, into the uh, Peru Chile Trench, uh, but nothing major yet in that area. Uh, there's definitely some activity kicking up here around the Middle America Trench. Uh, you can see that activity 
just off the coast of Mexico, it looks like some threes. And a uh, pretty good cluster there off the Costa Rica area, it looks like. Uh, see what we got showing up here on the map. Not a whole lot, but we do see uh, uh, looking at some activity into the Middle America Trench and area south as uh, far as uptick goes right now. Along the west coast, uh, most of the activity relatively quiet. We did see a 2.9 earthquake up here uh, near Mount Diablo, uh, Black Hills area. 2.9 at 15 kilometers deep and also a 1.6 that followed that uh, just a couple hours later. Um, looks like that uh, struck off of one of these fault systems here in between the Concord and the Greenville Fault. Uh, but either way, a little bit of uh, activity being reported there in the Bay Area of San Francisco. Uh, some movement just south of the Avenal area as well. This was from this morning, I believe. couple twos out there. Creeping segment here showing some activity along the San Andreas Fault near Parkfield. And let's see what we got here for Southern California. Down south here, the Elsinore Fault Zone still showing some activity. Looks like in a little cluster here. Got about seven or eight earthquakes near uh, south of Lake Henshaw. Yep, Lake Henshaw. Never been, I don't know if I've been down on that area or not. But uh, let's see what else. Not a whole lot going on further south. The San Andreas Fault here looks pretty quiet. Uh, no major swarms around it currently. So we'll just uh, continue to watch the activity as if it picks up or not. Arizona seen some movement, 2.0. Coming in uh, earlier this evening here, again, near the uh, Chino Valley. Yeah, that one's a little odd. doesn't have a, really have any name of nearby, just Arizona. Yeah, there's a couple old fault systems that run through here. Uh, big Chino Fault, it looks like. And I'm sure many other older fault systems throughout the region. Uh, into Texas, out here around Pecos, Texas. A couple threes kicking up. Most of that early this morning time period. Seen some activity in Kansas earlier as well. Uh, that was a... Uh, was that late last night? That was after midnight, 2.4. Yeah. Uh, coming in into that region. Kind of an odd quake. And then one, one little earthquake here outside of the uh, Georgia area. Up against the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains. And uh, that's about it. Pacific Northwest looks pretty quiet. Um, the trimmer map tonight shows about 31 epicenters of trimmer, and most of that there is into the Oregon region, uh, just outside of Medford and up uh, underneath Roseburg. That's down there about 35 kilometers or so below into the subduction zone. Uh, let's see, so not a whole lot of earthquake activity showing up here. The Yellowstone stations are down far as the overview goes once again so we've been having to check out the uh, original seismograph stations here from the University of Utah and a quick glance at them um, doesn't show a whole lot of movement right now just uh, some very spotty activity across the Yellowstone area but no major movement no magma movement currently uh, let's see what we got here for the Alaska area up north Anchorage um, see what we got here. A little swarming just to the south or to the east here of Anchorage. But overall, just a uh, looks like a normal day up here. Very typical to see that type of movement in the microquake department. The 2.5 map only shows Three. a couple above that. <laughs> yeah. The latest one shows a 2.8 up there. But uh, very, very typical on average to see that movement there. Very quiet up there in the Kamchatka, Curl Trench, and Aleutian area let's see japan trench here 4.1 early this morning area but early this morning area early this i didn't really get that didn't really get me uh in trouble <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say <laughs> so yeah definitely very quiet in this region here uh and it's been that way for a little while if you look at the map here it's um toning down but that area around the uh, Indonesia area, Philippines area, all seen an uptick in threes quite a bit. But yeah, the remainder of the Western Pacific here, very pretty quiet. quiet for now. Definitely very quiet. Uh, New Zealand area has been backing down a little bit for its uh, earthquake activity. Really nothing showing up since about 9 o'clock. 
Um, let me check here real quick the GeoNet servers and see what we have here for activity. Um, stand by for just a second here. Latest one looks like uh, five hours five hours ago, 2.6. And uh, let me check out Topo Volcano. That's going to be underneath the volcano category, underneath the drums. I just want to see what we got for earthquake activity. Uh, still looks like that is continuing uh, for earthquake activity there at that super volcano. But not as intense, but uh, still something to watch pretty closely there. As uh, it hasn't really stopped. It's just continuing there with the uh, earthquake swarming. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the region. Some movement, of course, in Java Trench is 5.7 coming in way early this morning. Originally, it came in, I think, as a 6.7. So uh, really? that's, wow. the, that's the notification I got on my phone. But that's uh, one heck of a downgrade. Right. But uh, it happens. 4.6 out in China. Looks like that from late last night. Not a whole lot going on as far as like later afternoon today. As far as the major activity goes, any yeah. uptick, yeah, it's just kind of a... Uh, just lingering a most, little bit. <laughs> most of the excitement is over there on the big island with uh, Mauna Loa definitely kicking up there. Pretty cool to see. And, um, yeah, we'll just uh, keep an eye on things, see how it uh, goes. Um, solar weather activity right now is kind of eventful as well. We have this pretty large coronal hole. <laughs> Number 53. He looks like he has a meh face. A what? Like he's meh. <laughs> meh? Face. Oh, yeah, I see that. The two giant eyeballs his, his here. Like, kind of... Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, mm. <laughs> oh. That's true. Until, Until the latest there. image. And this is a massive coronal hole yeah. uh, that's facing us. And that is going to definitely kick up some, uh, some G1 storming conditions here in a few days once the... Uh, once that arrives on uh, this planet here. A couple other solar sunspots as well that we're watching. And these are going to be a pretty large region. 3156 and 3153 are, uh, in fact, growing. Let me check the latest imagery. Uh, this one here is definitely looking pretty uh, pretty large. But can't discredit this one here. Uh, it's got getting a little bit more instability there with the magnetic um, polarities of of that field. Uh, this regional sunspot we'll have to watch as well. Either way, we're entering into a period of uh, definitely active conditions, not only in the coronal hole department, but uh, solar sunspot activity kind of ramping up. Uh, right now, 75% chance for a C flare, elevated M flare at 25%, and X flare around 5 So uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on those couple regional sunspots that are um, kind of rotating towards the uh, earth right now current conditions uh, somewhat um, active i would say uh, mostly up there around the higher latitudes of canada and uh, maybe northern alaska could see a shot of some auroras tonight but uh, definitely see a good shot here in a few days once that uh, solar wind stream arrives all right, uh, what else we got going on here? Hmm. Is that about it? That seems like it might be about it. Probably so about far. it. Oh, man. Yeah, pro I think so. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Uh, who's, who's all in here? here? Who's all up in, in the live stream here? What's going on there, Timothy? Thanks for checking in. Yeah, we're just up here in chat right now saying hello um kathleen that was like an hour or so ago huh in case she's uh, appreciate on, live feed in case she's on we'll say hi so but yeah thanks uh timothy for keeping uh keeping updated on some stuff out there i'm going through chat right now everything looks pretty good so yeah Alrighty, yeah, that's Timothy, hey the there, newest Timothy. member here on the channel. Woohoo, welcome, welcome Timothy, and welcome to the mod team. Definitely. Alrighty, guys, we're going to bounce out of here, uh, get back to uh, watching our movie. Just kind of enjoying a uh, nice, quiet Saturday night. 
That's what we prefer. A nice, quiet Saturday nice, night. Nice, yeah. I don't mind sometimes barbecuing, listening to music and oh, stuff yeah. like that, but yeah, sure. sometimes it's good just to relax, stay inside. Yeah. It's been somewhat cold all day. I think we only reached 42 degrees, and it's still 42 degrees, so um, been driz- kind of drizzly and cold, and that's about it. Stay inside where it's warm and, you know, just kind of relax, mm-hmm. so to speak. But, uh, all right, guys. Uh, again, check out the Mauna Loa live stream there from the USGS on YouTube. I will provide the link here in this update. Uh, it looks like it has been posted here in chat a couple times. Pretty awesome. Uh, but we're going to keep up the uh, live image that they provide there on the public domain for now here on the live channel. And uh, like I say, go check out the uh, YouTube video. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, we will chat you guys tomorrow sometime. All right. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe out there.